Greetings. Thank you so, so much for taking the necessary steps to improve your quality of life and taking a look at your mindset. Not everyone has the ability to be happy. Not everybody has the ability to find success. But if you are here now, then you are taking the necessary steps to really, truly figure out what success means to you what happiness really means to you. And with your ability to figure out those two things, you generate an incredible amount of focus and positivity and optimism. And it's not just some hippie thing to get you to take your shoes off and feel grounded and things like that. It's literally a way of looking at life. It's a way of appreciating the things that are around you. It's a way of sharing your happiness and success with others. It's absolutely phenomenal. So with that said, my name is Cody Rain and I am the developer of the Mantis Mindset. I am the creator, therefore I live this every single day of my life. And it stems from, we'll say a horrible background. I should be dead, I should be on drugs, should be in jail. And I am none of those things. I've survived the, the environments, I've survived the circumstances, and I'm here even after you know jumping up from my deathbed to share my outlook on life and the way it's impacting of people around the world so if you've taken the necessary steps to get your hands on this information i am so incredibly proud of you and i am beyond humbled that you've decided to invest in yourself investing in your mind investing in your future financially proving to yourself that you are the most important element in your existence is literally going to be the fuel that takes you from where you are to where you want to be and if you're listening to this if you're watching this then what's happening is you are actively working on developing your mantis mindset. With the mantis mindset introduction, let me tell you a little bit more about mantis itself. Here's a little blip we wrote about mantis. The mantis is never fooled by the appearance of the issue because mantis is a powerful mindset. If a challenge arises, the mantis will extend its focus with precision and devour the solution thus empowering the mantis to grow beyond its perceived reach. Now, what is the mantis mindset? What does it do for you? Where does it stem from? What can we look forward to? The truth is the mantis mindset is happiness simplified. As human beings, we tend to overthink and overcomplicate every single thing, and that's because our brain enjoys challenges. We like to have that challenge in front of us. As much as we may believe that it's too difficult, as much as we may create anxiety, as much as we may feel overwhelmed, we're actually doing something positive for ourselves. We are challenging our brains, and this is something that happens You know, when we get bored. We, we get bored, we, we make things more difficult. It's just something that happens. It's general human behavior, it, behavior it's, it's natural human behavior, and it's okay. But the problem with that is that sometimes we overcomplicate things to a point of where we are unhappy. And once we can find our happiness, we're able to figure out what success means to us. It means something different to everyone. So I want to go into the three most important things to remember when you're developing your mantis mindset. Number one, you are in control of your thoughts and actions. Number two, there is nobody to blame but yourself for your success and happiness or lack thereof. You get good at anything you practice, and if you do not practice, you will not make progress. And I want to go into a little bit more context about this. You are in absolute 100% control of every single thing you think. It may feel as though these thoughts just come rushing in and you have to react to them and that maybe you're not in control of them, but the truth here is these are controllable aspects of your mind. Your mind is the most powerful element that you actually have control over. Circumstances may be different, but the reality is, is you are the one pulling the levers in this lifetime. There's nobody to blame but you. 
which is another way of saying you cannot make excuses. Now, go ahead and make excuses. That's fine. You can physically. You are able to. You have that decision. That's a distinction that you make. It's a commitment to that excuse that defines you for who you are. But the reality is is nobody else is to blame for your success. Nobody else is to blame for your happiness. These are also two things you have control over. Now, with that said, happiness and success are abilities. Not everyone can achieve it. For instance, if you were taking this course, if you were listening to this now, if you were watching this presentation, you are actively working on finding success and creating happiness, which is going to guide your future. Now, you get good at anything you practice. And when I say anything, I mean absolutely anything anything you practice. This means complaining. This means making excuses. This means being rude. This means making things more difficult. This also means complimenting. This also means receiving compliments well. It also means using affirmations. It also means being kind. Anything that you do repeatedly, you get really good at. So happiness simplified is practicing the art of being happy. If we continue to overcomplicate everything, if we continue to believe we are not in control of our thoughts, if we continue to make excuses for why we're not successful and why we're not happy or why we're not doing the things that we really want to do, all we're doing is finding a reason to stay complacent. We're scapegoating everything but ourselves. With those three points, it is imperative that you put this into practice, that you actively work on developing your mantis mindset. What actually is the mantis mindset? In reality, mantis is an extension of the millionaire mindset. And I want to talk about more about exactly what mantis is, specifically this type of mindset that we get to live every single day. In reality, it's the way you feel about yourself on a core level, meaning the way that you really look at yourself and and what you truly feel. Now, based on our beliefs, that may be a really awesome belief. It may be packed with value. It may be completely written in stone that you are unstoppable, but chances are it's not. It's the way you feel about the people around you. It's the way you look at them. It's the way you interpret the things that they do, the words that they say. It's the overall vibe that you get from the people around you. It's how you interpret your past, your present, and your future. It's the way that we take that information and rewrite it. It's the way we look at the things that have happened to us and see how they apply to our present moment and what may be getting in our way to generating an incredible future. So it's the way that we interpret our past, present, and future. It's the way we express our core identity and connect to similar identities. Now, I want you to think about this for one second. The person deep inside you, the person that you really, really are, not the person that you describe yourself as. When someone says, hey, who are you? And you describe yourself, that's your that's your surface identity. I'm talking about the real identity, the person that doesn't get to live out loud all day long. That person it's how it's your core identity and how you connect to similar identities. It's being able to look at somebody and, and going, that's my kind of person. And then it's the way you compute external influences before making decisions. So many of our decisions are based on a preconceived notion, meaning that we have a belief that all of this information that it's coming into our head, we're computing it in a very specific way that solidifies the way we feel about that information and the way we make decisions. So we compute information based on external influences and then we make decisions. The mantis mindset is going to adjust the way you compute information so you can make healthier decisions. 
It's the amount of focus you have when you're executing a task. Now, focus is one of those things that people struggle with the most. Finding focus, finding, some people call it passion. Some people call it motivation. The truth is, is focus is your ability to give absolute 100% attention to the tasks or the mission at hand and your ability to turn it on and off at will. It's the amount of determination you need to move forward in life. Now, we all have goals. We all have missions. We've we've got things that we want to accomplish. And the amount of determination is not just our motivation. Our motivation is what is the reason behind why we make our decisions and why we do the things that we do. The amount of determination is the amount of energy that we're willing to put into our efforts so we can move forward in life. So if you are listening to this right now, you have already proven to yourself that you have what it takes to move forward in life and you're doing it the right way. Mantis is the life force that powers you to succeed. It's your overall vibe, your overall energy. It's literally the thing that powers you to find success. It's the way you find real happiness and strive for more. You actively go out and you're going to look for happiness. You are going to find it. And as you find more and more of it, you're going to want to share it. It's your ability to complete all tasks that are in front of you. Once again, and one of the major issues that we all face is completing tasks. Your mindset is the mechanism that's going to give you the focus to complete the necessary tasks at hand so you can make the necessary moves either on the micro level or the macro level. It's the amount of energy you have throughout the day. Lots of us lack the motivation. Lots of us lack the energy because we're simply complacent. Maybe Maybe we're actually lazy. Maybe we're lethargic. But your mindset is how you create energy, how you find it. And it doesn't come down to coffee. It doesn't come down to drinking energy drinks. It, maybe it's a smoothie. Who knows? It's different for everyone. But the reality is, is that it's the amount of energy that you can generate on your own behalf to get through the day. Most commonly, you forget the day even happened because you move through it so quickly. It's the way you approach problems and turn them into strengths. Most of the time we look at a problem and we see it as a problem, therefore putting us in a state of needing help. Instead of seeing that as a challenge, instead of turning those problems into strengths, we use those problems to stay put and scapegoat and make excuses. And when you approach problems and turn them into an actual strength that you have, you're able to welcome new issues, welcome new problems, and see them as opportunities. Thus, you're creating an even deeper strength for yourself, and you can move throughout your day and throughout the rest of your life knowing that you can complete and overcome every one of these elements. It's your ability to control your emotions in any situation. Once again, in the beginning, I told you, you have absolute control of your emotions, your thoughts, your actions. You are the one pulling the levers. Your mindset is going to not just show you the amount of control you have, but it's going to be the mechanism. It's going to be that force that gives you control over your emotions in any situation. It's going to be that element that gives you those next few seconds that you can use to compute that information without reacting. Now, everything is visceral. We physically and emotionally react to most situations, but your mindset is going to remind you and hold you accountable and remind you that you don't have to react this way. There's another way to do it, and it's going to give you that time to think about that before making a decision. It's actually the amount of control you have in your life and your business. One of the reasons why we do anything buy anything, go anywhere, it's because of control. Your mindset is the amount of control you have in your own life. Thus, you have control in your business. It doesn't matter if you're trying to deliver a message. It doesn't matter if you have a product or a service, or maybe you're just looking for happiness. Maybe you're in the business of relationships. But the amount of control you have in your life is going to reflect in your business. And your mindset is the number one thing you have to understand, develop, and practice every day to watch your life flourish in front of your own eyes.
The Mantis mindset is the strength you need to look forward to the unknown. The strength you need most of the time we sit and we dwell and we fear the unknown. We fear the things that are unfamiliar to us. And when you look forward to the unknown, you're welcoming new opportunities. Most of us will never take those opportunities because we fear the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. When you are excited about things you don't actually have control over, such as the unknown, when you welcome those challenges and welcome those opportunities, you take your life to another level because before you would write that off as a reason to say no and a reason to consider it a risk instead of an opportunity. It's the true power you have when taking your success to the next level. Now, if you're here now and you are considered successful, you've defined it, you know what it means, you feel it, let's take it to another level. And it starts with your mindset. Mantis is going to give you that focus and those strengths, also known as superpowers, to take your success, whether that be money or happiness or family, friends, whatever success means to you, that's going to give you the ability to take it to a level like you've never seen it before. It's the desire you have when helping others succeed. Real success is only achieved by helping others succeed. And when you have a real desire to help other people succeed, you are only contributing to the positivity and the optimism and the general energy to watch other people flourish. Because if you are flourishing and you are successful and you found happiness and you have the ability to help other people succeed, not save them, But I mean, you have an opportunity to support their success. I personally believe it's your moral obligation to help them do that. And that's exactly why I've even created Mantis. I want to see you succeed. And your desire is so important and you're going to love it. As you develop your Mantis mindset, you're going to want to share it with others. People are going to become magnetically drawn to you. And your only option is to share your happiness. And that brings up It's a way you can find opportunities in any situation, meaning that it doesn't matter if you're at the grocery store, if you're at your children's play, if you are on a random phone conversation, you find opportunities to either develop your mindset, learn something from that experience, and most commonly, you find a way to make money from it. Now, money is a form of self-care, and the happier that we are, the more we can take care of ourselves. The more finances that we create, more abundance we create, the better we can take care of ourselves, the better we can take care of ourselves. And with that said, it's how happy you are and how you share that happiness with others. And I'm telling you, every single day day is better than the last. Therefore, if you're listening to this right now, you are listening to me creating this for you on the best day of my life. It is incredible. You are never going to get this time back ever. It's gone. And that is amazing, and I see that as a gift, and I thank you so much for your time, and I hope, and I look forward, and I promise to deliver value for you to make it well worth your time. You are doing something absolutely phenomenal for yourself. 99% of the world will never take the necessary steps to find happiness or even determine what success means to them. So if you're here right now, I am so, so proud of you. Now, let's talk about what Mantis does for your life. You're going to feel an enormous amount of respect and gratitude for yourself. Two very, very important elements that we all need to have. We need to seriously respect who we are and understand who we are and why we are and be grateful for that. Be grateful, have gratitude for ourselves that we've made it this far and we're going to continue thriving in this existence and we're going to develop an incredible amount of respect and appreciate ourselves on a level unknown. You're going to know beyond any reasonable doubt that you hold real value and I'm telling you this right now, the person that you are, exactly who you are. The person you've designed, either by choice or by accident, you hold value. The amount of value is only equivalent 
to what you say it is. So if you don't understand how much value you hold, how do you expect other people to see the value in you? And I'm going to help you determine that. I'm going to help you figure that out. I'm going to give you everything you need so you know and you feel every single day the amount of value you hold and how you can use that value to take your life, your happiness, and your success to another level. And you're going to take your favorite people along with you. You're going to think deeper and make longer lasting connections. And I mean connections with people immediately. I mean connections that are so deeply rooted. You can disappear for 20 years and the second you reconnect, it's just like you never left. And I mean real bonds with people, bonds with yourself, bonds that you never knew were even possible. You're going to be able to connect with people on such a core level. You will not even need to speak and you will have an entire conversation. It is beautiful and I am excited for you. You're gonna have fun in any situation and let your inner child play. Literally any situation you find yourself in. And I don't mean you're gonna be funny. I don't mean you're gonna become a comedian. I mean you're going to have fun. You're going to reconnect with the entity that's inside you that we are forced to forget about as we become adults, as we move through life. We forget that we get old because we stop having fun. We don't stop having fun because we get old. It's different. And so I'm going to show you exactly how you can have fun in any situation and let that inner child have the fun for you. It's going to be decision making based on how happy it makes you and others. What I mean by this is if it doesn't make you happy, it doesn't make you money, it doesn't make you feel successful, it doesn't contribute to your overall energy. You are going to take that and understand how important that is before you make a decision. This is an incredible distinction because nine times out of ten, we react to information based on what is stimulating us, based on the way we are computing it. And with that, we make decisions. And now we're going to do it on a completely different level. You're no longer going to feel judged and you do not judge others on any level. What this means is you do not care. You do not care what people think about you. Now that may come across a little deep and a little you know, disconnected. Of course we want people to like us. Of course we want to be fun to be around. But what I'm telling you is that you are not comparing yourself to other people because you understand that they are their own entity. You understand that they are not judging you. I'll take this back. They probably are judging you, but you are going to be the one that's going to take that information, push it off to the side, and you're not going to judge them. You are not going to apply a name. You're not going to apply a vibe. You are going to just move through life the way you want to move through life, and their opinions of you do not matter. You're going to see failures as lessons and turn them into real motivation. We do not fail. We find reasons to move forward. We do not fail. We learn lessons from them. Every single thing we do is a lesson learned or an achievement made. And you use those failures, you use those attempts to find real motivation and take your existence and take your progress and your success to a completely different level that you've never experienced before. And you're always excited when speaking to new people. This is me speaking to you right now. I'm excited for this. This is amazing. I'm so excited that you're listening, that you're paying attention, that you want to hear what I have to say. And know what's cool is I don't know who I'm speaking to, but I know that what I'm providing is exciting. And you want to listen. You want to develop. You want to take this information and you want to do something with it. That's amazing. I love meeting new people. And I mean, I love meeting new people not because everybody is awesome, but because I'm in control of my emotions and I can guide conversations. I can create feelings. I have the ability to find excitement in dull situations. It's really, really amazing. And I'm excited for you to experience this. You're going to fall in love with the process and welcome new challenges. And I talk about challenges because 
A challenge is meant to be gotten over. A challenge is meant to create a type of resistance that you can get through. And once again, when we fall in love with the process and we welcome these challenges, we appreciate the destination that much more. And we're told this through our whole life that says, you know what? It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Well, this is the in-depth extension of what that really means. And the truth is, is if you can't fall in love with the process, why does the destination even matter? You're going to attract success in the most unique places and see opportunities easier. And when I say attract success, I mean on a magnetic level, on a subliminal, on a spiritual, on an energy grid type level, a level unknown. And I mean success literally finds you. It hunts you down. You become the prey in this world, but in a good way. You, success wants to find you. And it's in the places you never expected. It's incredible the way it works. And you see these opportunities easier. You see them and you take them. And because you attract success, you have more opportunities. They literally pop out of nowhere. And it's such an amazing experience. You're going to feel more exhilarated and passionate about helping the people around you. And I mean, you want to help these people. And I don't mean save them. I mean support them. You're exhilarated. It makes you happy. You seriously have so much passion and drive. And you see these people... Whether they need your help or not, you just want to help. You want to be there. You want to be a support system. You want to be a reason for them to succeed. And you're excited about helping other people. You no longer feel overwhelmed when taking on new tasks. This is one of the biggest issues that we all face. Here's something new. Here's something new. Here's something new. Well, when we have a plate full... We don't see a way around it and we get overwhelmed. It's sometimes there's so much on our plate or we perceive that there's so much on our plate that we don't know whether or not we want to sit down or we want to lie down. And so we feel overwhelmed and this contributes to our anxiety. And the best part about it is you never feel overwhelmed when taking on new tasks or you're provided more opportunities that you need to complete throughout the day. You're gonna be more confident when trying new things. Once again, this relates to the unknown. In order for us to be comfortable, we need to get uncomfortable. We're gonna feel more confident. We're gonna approach the unknown. We're gonna try new things. And we are going to go into that situation with confidence. We're gonna go into that situation knowing that we're gonna come out the other side a better version. We're either gonna learn what we don't like or we're gonna learn what we do like. And that's how we try new things. And that's our approach to taking on new obstacles. We're going to create healthy boundaries so social anxiety doesn't stump our progress. Healthy boundaries are by far one of the most underrated and overlooked elements of our mindset. A healthy boundary is something saying that I have this boundary here because I know that my reaction is going to be unhealthy. It's another way of saying drawing a line. And when you put that line there for yourself, not for everybody else. If you put a line there, it's meant to be crossed. People will cross it. Your healthy boundary is knowing what your quirks are. It's knowing what upsets you. It's knowing what gets in your way. It's knowing how you're going to react and putting a wall there so it doesn't create anxiety when it's overstepped and you don't stump your progress anymore. So we create these boundaries and we're going to be able to continue to move forward in our social lives, in our business lives, in our personal lives, and we're just going to excel at everything we do. You're going to appreciate the little things and value the smaller things in life. And I mean, when they say stop and smell the roses, I really mean that. They really mean that. They've been telling us this forever. And the truth is, is that we don't appreciate the little things. Like me spending $2 on this microphone. That's $2 that I get to communicate with my dream client. That's $2 that gave me the opportunity to express myself and share valuable information. It's the little things. It's the things that we overlook. We appreciate them and it drives us to be happier because we look at these little things and see the value in them. The smallest elements, the quantum elements, the things that we don't pay attention to normally, you start to notice and you appreciate those things. 
and you're going to feel in control of your emotions and use them to feel secure in your own skin when you feel you're in control. And I mean not that you know you're in control, but you feel that you are in control and you know that these are your emotions and you can use them at will. You are going to be more comfortable in your shell, in your skin, in this machine that we are forced to live within. We don't have a choice on our shell, but we do have a choice on our thoughts. We have a choice to utilize our emotions. We have a choice to react. We have control over more things than we want to take responsibility for. And the truth is, is when you feel in control of your emotions, you're going to use them and feel more in, in control and more secure in your own skin. You're going to have the ability and power to turn your focus on and off at will. I mean, when there is a task that needs to be completed, when you need to generate an articulate sentence, when you need to make something happen, it's your ability to generate focus, find it out of nowhere, and literally creates an enormous amount of focus whenever you want. It's an incredible feeling. It's an incredible strength. And you're going to be able to do that at will. It's constantly operating at a peak state of performance with anything you choose. And I mean, when you commit to something, when you've made that decision that this is what you want, when you've got to do the dishes, when you have to send that email, when you need to go to the gym, when you have to pick up the kids, when you have to make that phone call, it doesn't matter what it is. You are operating at a peak state of performance, meaning you are the best that you can be at every moment. Now, this doesn't mean that you're perfect. It doesn't mean that it's going to run 24-7, but if you can turn your focus on and off at will, then there's nothing stopping you from operating at a peak state of performance, and we're going to show you how to do that. All of your actions contribute to your happiness, and you inspire yourself daily. Everything you do makes you happy. The things that would normally upset you don't upset you anymore. <laughs> Everything you do contributes to your happiness and you inspire yourself daily because you know that you're in a healthy place. You know that you're practicing the mantis mindset. You know that you're excited for the future and you are just excited. And because of that excitement, you inspire yourself on a daily basis. You become your own cheerleader. And every day is the best day of your life because every new day is better than the last. And I've said this before, if you're listening to me right now, you are hearing me create this content for you. You're hearing me on the best day of my life. It's better than yesterday. And yesterday was better than the day before, and the day before, and the day before. And it's going to continue progressing. I don't know where it's going to go, and I'm excited for that. That is I I intriguing. I, I welcome new days. I don't have bad days. A bad day is just a day that has less happy stuff happening. And it doesn't mean I'm happy-go-lucky. It means I'm excited to be alive. And I appreciate my existence and I hold value and every single thing I do is contributing to someone else's success somewhere. Therefore, I am living my purpose and my purpose in life is to help you succeed. So if you're listening to this, thank you for allowing me to support your journey to happiness and success. And wrapping things up into a nice little package that smells incredibly good and you can ship off to your friends and family, Mantis is ultimately the mindset that's going to show you what real happiness actually is. And I mean real happiness, not our basic understanding of what's happy and what that word means to us. I'm talking about absolute 100% profound happiness when you find that, and you will, you will be unstoppable because you will not want anything less than real happiness. If you're reading this, you probably know what it feels like to have the answers right in front of you, but you're unable to complete the necessary tasks to achieve your goal. This is so incredibly common. This is a mindset issue, and it's common for most people. You may feel like the world is holding you down and working against you. Most commonly, we feel like we've hit a wall, and we don't know where to go from here. We can climb that wall, but we're unsure of what's on the other side, and that gives us anxiety. 
perhaps it feels like you're driving down the road with the handbrake on. You're moving, but you can tell that there's a major resistance and you're not moving forward efficiently. If any of these things are true, you have a mindset issue and you are in the right place.